Hey guys, let's talk about revamping an old website. So, the Killer Video Store has been around for many years, not quite as long as KillerSites.com, but I moved the video sales and the course sales off of KillerSites.com years ago, put it on a dedicated site, KillerVideoStore.com, and that was a traditional video store that uh, existed uh, way before any of the other people that are out there now. In that, we did a video buy a CD. People would buy courses on CD, we'd ship them CD, ship them, then we moved to DVD. I remember when I moved from CD to DVDs, people were like, oh, I, I, I only have a CD player. That's how far back it goes. And then from there, I dropped CD because the courses were getting bigger and bigger because the video quality was getting better. So then I moved into uh, USB key, USB key as well. As people could, I would ship them USB key. So I used to ship over hundreds and hundreds and hundreds uh, not more of usb keys from china for the people who wanted the videos on usb key the whole time though i had digital download people would download to own not streaming but digital download to own people uh, were not comfortable back then with the idea of uh, on-demand streaming like a la netflix and so forth or studio web what happened is I, several years ago, I focused in on other businesses of mine and specifically when it came to the web education, I went into deeper, well, totally into Studio Web to get that going up and running where Studio Web more or less is used by institutions, schools, and so forth. I let the video store slowly fade out. People were still buying from them and then eventually I was putting up uh, notes and videos saying, listen, you know, you don't want to buy Dreamweaver CS6, the course, because Dreamweaver, whatever, whatever, whatever is out now. But then I would find out, people said, well, I have Dreamweaver CS6, I want to use that. And so on. So even though several of the courses were dated on old versions of software and so forth, people were still wanted them because some people still had these old versions of the software. Well, here we are now today and I decided to, well I decided a few weeks ago, but I pulled the plug and we are now doing a revamp of the killer video store. Now the app behind the store, it's the shopping cart and the uh, testimonial system and the download system, the credential system. This is all built with uh, a custom simple semi-object-oriented PHP. I don't even know if it, to be honest with you, I was just looking at the code. There's a lot of functional PHP because it's not a huge app and the fact of the matter is it didn't require a big overhead to get it done. So anyway, we built it up, it was years ago, like 10 years ago or something. It still works. Now, a couple of things here and there have to be upgraded and so forth. So I said, okay, we're gonna upgrade this old website, this old app. So the question is, do you rewrite from scratch? 98% of the time, you shouldn't rewrite from scratch, especially if the app is pretty much functional and you just need to change a few things here and there, as is the case with the Killer Video Store. The big thing I'm doing with the Killer Video Store is I am now, people, some people are not gonna like it, but I'm flushing out all the old data courses. I'm just putting in my brand spanking new courses all the latest stuff, my HTML5, my CSS3, the JavaScript, the new PHP, the new powerful Python 3, and I got a couple other things on the way. And I'm also removing the ability to buy DVDs because, um, you know, I can't do that. And, uh, you know, and even USB keys, it's going to be digital download to own, which again, even that in of itself is kind of unique these days. Uh, most of the places you have to log in to view your content with the uh, killer video store i'm just giving the option to people who want to have a local copy of the course because maybe you're traveling you don't have broadband i get that a lot of people are you know they're doing a long travel and they don't know if they're going to be able to connect they don't know how good the internet is going to be so they rather have the course material on their own computer so they can review it there so that's it this video uh the whole point of this video really is just to say when you're looking at old websites to revamp you have to you have to balance a total rewrite from scratch versus yeah, you just need some modifications. Fortunately, uh, the Killer Video Store has a modern web user interface. It's responsive. We have Bootstrap in the background, if you recall, and it works very good. And we're just going to tweak that in a minor way. Uh, you know, when you run into problems, if you have an old website that isn't responsive, and if you will still exist out there, 
And another place where you run into problem uh, is where you need to add some significant functionality to your old app where it would be very problematic to update that old app because the code base is not compatible with the new infrastructure or the new functionality you want to bring into it. For instance, Studio Web 3.1 with the current version, it's a seven-year-old code base just about, and it's uh, it's been hacked and rehacked and it's been cleaned and, and refactored. But at this point, because it uses an old ORM framework, an old MVC framework, it's really, that, that legacy code rather is holding back my developers' abilities to add the new functionality to express the vision that I have for the Studio Web app. So I made the uh, decision uh, a little while back to pull the trigger on that and we're doing a rewrite from scratch. Fortunately, you know, now that we know what we're doing, we understand exactly what we need to do. Uh, the rewrite will be cheaper, significantly cheaper than the original design. Because when you're building an app from scratch and you don't exactly know what the client's going to want, you're going to find there's constant revisions, constant changes, constant changes. And at the end, it costs you a lot because you're revamping all these things. Oh, well, okay, we got we to change this. We got to go back. We got to change that again. We got to rewrite that. And it's over and over and over again. And this is this part of the process. This is the way it goes. This is the way it goes. Think about any of the major apps out there, like Facebook. The original Facebook is very different from what it is today. And a lot of uh, a lot of changes need to be done. Now, when you have the final product, it's easy to get there. It's like, an analogy I'm going to make is, it's easy to learn how to play a song. It's much harder to, to actually write it in the first place.